This is what we did in my latest refurb. And then at the end, I'll talk you through the numbers. So first of all, we replaced the kitchen like for like layout to save on costs with a Howden's packaged kitchen. Works really well. And we put all new tiles down after taking the old boiler out and replastering the walls. We then took what was the old living room and split it in half with a stud wall, making sure the stud wall fits dead centre to the window so each room still has its own window. And we turned what was effectively half the living room into bedroom three. It's got its own fire door, radiator, enough sockets, smoke detection and lighting to make it a full blown self-contained bedroom. We then replaced the existing suite for a new one, but it was like for like, leaving all of the waste and all of the hot and cold feeds in exactly the same space, which saved us a lot of work of messing around trying to move things about. We used the same tiles as in the kitchen, in the bathroom, so we could bulk buy and save on waste. We then redecorated all of the flat with the same colour scheme that we use in every rental property, which fits to our target marker, works really well with our finishes in our kitchen and our bathroom, and saves on cost because the painter could just come in and paint the whole place in exactly the same colour. And it's the same for the carpet, we use the same carpet every single time, all the way through the property, which gets it done much quicker. So how much did this all cost? Well, I paid 120 for the property, and after all of my legal expenses, stamp duty, as well as refurb costs, I was into this for just over 147. My revaluation confirmed the new value of 220, so I've created over 73,000 pounds worth of equity within this project. But I'm not gonna sell, I'm gonna refinance and rent, and the rental figure that I've already achieved is 1,400 pound every single month, not including any bills.